Good morning, how are you doing today? Hope you're awesomely well. So, I'm about to head off to the workshop and uh, do a couple things there, get some things ready and uh, I'd... You see this? All this space? The forge is no longer there. It got shipped off to Sam on Wednesday, I think. Which is great, no, Tuesday, which is great. I realized I didn't really give a lot of context. When Sam was here helping me make the last batch of hammers, uh, I, he didn't have a forge, and I'm like, dude, have, have that forge, which you can't see, it's no longer there anymore. But I gave him a forge, and uh, that got picked up and sent off on a pallet. Hopefully he's got it. Do you have it, Sam? Let me know in the comments. So today I'm in the workshop because I'm going to be doing some filming for when I'm not going to be in the workshop to be able to do any vlog episodes. And once I've done all of that, it's going to be the live show day today. I know today's a Thursday, it's for you a Friday, but we're going to be doing the live show today, which was yesterday, so it doesn't really matter. But today was the live show. Now I'm certainly no fruit when it comes to getting my hands dirty. My hands spend their entire lives pretty much completely black. But I've been wanting to try this stuff. They call it, like, a barrier cream, something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that out and see how that works, because apparently what it does is it means that you can kind of protect your hand from any of the more harmful stuff that's in a workshop, and it means that then when you want to wash your hands, they get cleaner easier, which is probably a good thing, as much as I like having dirty hands when I'm in the workshop, it starts to just... You get strange looks from people when you go nice places with dirty hands. I think the idea with this stuff is, is you put it on and then it's like water soluble so at the end of the day when you wash your hands it, uh, it's created this film on your hands and it dissolves and takes all the dirt with it. We'll see how it goes. Push me back. You might have also noticed that my hair is a little bit less out of control than usual. The reason for that is I finally cut my hair and so that's good. Under control again. So the purpose of today's video, slightly different to normal. Today's video is the exception because today's video is where the hammers that you've not previously been able to get a hold of over the past little while are going live again. I have been inundated with emails, you wonderful people wanting to get a hammer because you missed out on the first pre-order. Well guys, that's it. Today, the pre-order goes live and if you order yourself a hammer, you will have it before Christmas. Yes! So, you might be wondering which hammers is it that we're going to have available up on the website. Well, we're going to have square circles. We're also going to have the classic rounding hammer. And, as a special that is the beginning for this pre-order only, we're also going to have the classic cross-peen hammer, which is very much an offshoot from the classic rounding hammer with a drawn-out peen, which in the lower weights is perfect for the farrier wanting to pull clips on horseshoes, and in the higher weights is perfect for the blacksmith wanting to make wonderful leaves and wanting to do extreme lateral draws, such as when you're making a spatula. Now, a lot of people ask me, which is my favorite hammer? That's a great question to ask. My favorite hammer is the three and a half pound square circle hammer. Of course, all of these hammers come with a charred hickory handle and a 1045 equivalent steel head, but the three and a half pound square circle, to me, I just love it. I can use it for all work from quarter inch round or even eighth inch round all the way up to half inch or five eighth inch round and square. But if I was to go any larger, I would tend to want to go ahead and step up to a four and a half pound hammer. You know, for five eighths up to about an inch, four and a half pound hammers are great. I don't really recommend doing much work above inch round, but if you happen to be going above an inch round, you're gonna want yourself a slightly heavier hammer, up to seven pounds. But I, that, you know, that, that, like, it, that'd be like, yeah. That's, that's a heavy hammer. I'm not trying to dissuade you from the classic rounding hammer. These things are beautiful too, but, we can all have preferences, right? We can all prefer certain things. I am to prefer the square circle, but I know a lot of you guys like the classic too, which is awesome. Now, if you guys would like to get yourself one of these hammers, or you'd like to get a loved one or a friend one of these hammers in time for Christmas, all you gotta do is go to blacksmithingtools.co.uk and place your pre-order right there on the hammer that you wanna get with the weight that you wanna get. Shipping's pretty cheap, usually. I, I, I've shipped some hammers while in the US, and I always remember I had to pay like 18 or 20 dollars to ship them inside the US. When I ship a hammer from here, that costs like 24 dollars. You know, it's like 16 pounds to the United States. And I know some of you guys in the US are probably a little bit worried about the cost of shipping. It's pretty cheap. 
So again, if you want to go ahead and get yourself in on the pre-order, I would be super happy because that supports my business, that supports what I do with these vlogs, and I, the idea with these hammers is that I'm making you a tool that every time you pick it up, you're like, wow, this thing is beautiful, and I want it to inspire you to make beautiful work yourself, and I want it to be a tool that you're going to enjoy using for a very, very long time. So again, if you'd like to get yourself one of these hammers, the link is going to be in the description, but it's blacksmithingtools.co.uk, and I'll make sure I get that hammer for you. I'll get that hammer to you in time for Christmas. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so, so, so much. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.